hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create a list view in portal and and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add a main menu in the portal level please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the playlist you can see odoo development and here you can see different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases and in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub, make sure you can follow. We also have uh, some different social media pages, make sure you can follow to get the latest notification. Alright, so let's back to our main topic like how you can create list view in the portal side. So last time we already created a main menu in the portal side as a students, right, and with the total we will we try to display total records here right and when you refresh the screen you can see like this way and when you go to special in slash my slash home or slash my controller and in this discussion we are trying to create a list view so let's say if i will click to this quotation you can see it's the list view look like this way right it's a html tabular format okay you can see this is the bread scrum this line and this is the actual table here now this is the home page this is the quotation as a label name and you can see here this is the search view okay and this is the actual list of records available here so now we are trying to do the same thing for the student also right and when i click to here you can see it's giving us like 404 right now we don't have that controller this controller slash my slash students all right so now we are trying to create a controller right in this existing weblands portal cloud so for that like we can use here odoo import http like at the red http dot route we can use in the list that says slash my this url okay let me copy this part and i will try to paste here this is the route we have to define here like this in the list after that comma type should be always http we have to provide here let's say weblands student list view right this is the method name and this parameter we have to pass as a keyword argument we have to pass the parameter right this is the compulsory here at the moment again another thing is we will pass as a dictionary simple dictionary and we will print here like hello you called slash my slash students controller okay simple i will restart the service i don't need to upgrade this module so due to that i'm removing this command and once i will refresh the screen right you can see it's called this controller but the again thing is it's displayed this 404 let me refresh the screen and when you click here it's not written anything but it's already called this controller right because we didn't return anything here due to that it's not redirect to any of the page at the moment okay so we have done successfully created this controller right and it's automatically call when this controller automatically call okay another thing is we have to also provide here the values and the template we have to render which template we have to render right so for that we have to again going to here in this portal underscore template dot xml file right and simple we have to create here a new template let's say wb students portal students list view portal okay in simple we have to provide here or let's say we have to call like the layout 
so this template so this template we have to call okay why because it's having a some basic functionality of list view later on we will extend all the possible options right but right now you have to remember this one we have to call compulsory in list view this template so for that tt dash call right portal dot this one and simple we have to add here let's say the table let's say student name school roll number and fields okay we have to display only four fields that's it we have to copy this id we have to uh, let's say return write this template so for that we have to use this request dot render we have to paste here this template name along with this module name okay and after this second parameter we have to pass here the dictionary and in the dictionary we have to pass let's say students list right so let's say let me create here the students as a variable name request dot env school underscore student right obj student obj dot search right and same this one i will pass here so this is the actually a dictionary right this dictionary we have to compulsory pass and this dictionary we can call as a context q context okay controller level q context and it should be in the dictionary format now these students we have to use here as a variable name so for that like it could be one or more record set right so for that we are using here for each loop t desk for each students t desk as student t sorry tr right then after td let's say t desk t desk out student dot name another thing is let me add here one more class let's say text center i will copy this one and paste here four times student underscore id dot name another thing is roll underscore number this is the field name and total underscore fees okay so this part is done again i will use here the class is a text dot center class dot active for the booster classes okay now this part is done so far good okay now let's say i will try to upgrade this module so far everything is good and once i will refresh the screen and once i will go to here ops we have some error right so this is our main mistake let me refresh one more time here okay one more error
Oh, sorry. Here it's a school underscore id dot name. My mistake. One more error, which is non time object is not iterable language selector. So when you encounter this part, right, you have to compulsory add here slash website equal to true. Now you can see it's display something like this way, right? But it's not same like this quotation, right? So for that, simple what we have to do is like we have to remove this table but here we can use the table let's say underscore table this portal underscore table template okay let me copy this part template name tt desk call portal dot and let me paste here this d tag now again i will upgrade this module and i will refresh the screen now you can see it's display somehow look like the quotation right so like this way you can add a list view a beautiful list view here okay another thing is if you noticed when you click to this quotation right it's display here this quotations also how you can also add the students as a label name so for that we have to use the brad scrum yes this part this template we have to use so let me copy this template and let me paste here let me also inherit underscore id portal dot this part again we have to pass here sorry we have to use the xpr xpr right position let me minimize the screen simple we have to use here let's say ol right and has class this sub menu inside okay inside we have to use something like this so let me copy let me remove all the extra code and simple instead of this details i will use here students all right and let me remove this let me comment this part because in the future we need this one so we have to use like li class then after bread scrum item and simple we have to use this students as a level name so again it will display here okay let me upgrade the module So you can see here it's display as a students right now if I will go to here in the quotation you can see it's display in the quotation also the students if I will go to the sales order still it's display as a students if I will go to in the invoices and bills still it's display as a student right this is the correct one but this students label it should not be display here also right so for that in the controller here we have to pass out a one specific keyword right and it should be as per your generated variable name or key name 
so for that like let me again cut this part i will use here wells wells let's say here this page underscore name in here i will use students list view right and simple i will copy this part i will paste here this part i will uncomment and i will apply this condition so let's say if in case the page underscore number it's the key is found and that key having the students underscore list view after that this bread scrum display otherwise it won't be display okay so first thing is we have to return this page underscore name right we have to pass here in the wells and it will accessible this page underscore name as a variable and we will try to match the page number if it is correct it will display the students let me upgrade the module students now you can see it's display here right in the quotation now you can see it's gone in the cell order you can see it's gone in invoices you can see it's gone now it's display in the students so this part you have to remember all right in this controller part you have to compulsory pass the page number otherwise it won't be work so if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session and our next session should be like how you can add the form view something like this okay not exactly like this but somehow similar like this all right so if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session